My name's Denny Ball. I've been using SOLIDWORKS since uh, version 96. It's like you think you can remember something when you come back to work on Monday after a weekend. Well, this tip kind of help you out to like where you left off Friday or before a big holiday, something like that. I like to just put notes on the screen and just nice and big, bold notes on the screen. And so there's one here that's like, this is just a simple little part, but it, it shows my example of, of my tip here that uh, we come in, we found out uh, we need to put another one of these notches uh, just up in this area. So say Friday at quitting time, I just drop a note in here that says add clearance notch. And this, this is using the annotations command, which is basically insert, uh, insert annotations. And you can just, uh, you click on something and you just start typing. The other tip I like is in our in our feature tree and most things they evolve you make changes engineering changes things like that different revisions and i like using the feature tree to track that yes in solidworks you can go back and you can redefine a feature and change it but then you kind of lose your history with that and being a history based type modeler i like to treat my models as you would the real thing it's you've you've built your model like you've built your physical product well, now you need to make a revision, so you make a revision on your model. And then you can have a, a story with it, and along with some comments and things. And what they have is a comment feature. And when you add a comment to a feature, it gives a little icon here that shows up. And so now you, you get used to knowing what that icon is. And you can hover over it, and a little pops up. You can read it, or you can just uh, add, you can add a comment. It opens up bigger. But basically what I do is... Uh, like this one, a after design review, we, we determined we, we didn't need this feature. So basically the feature was a delete face. But sometimes people, even yourself, you, well, why did I do that? Well, you put, you kind of put the reason in your note comment here. So then you can visit it two years down the road and, or someone else looking at your model and wonder what's going on here. They could look at the comments and see so what's going on with that. So whenever we're making any kind of a major change like that, I like to put a little comment in there and it stays with the model. And then also when we get into revisions, I like to, to tag tag the feature with like, okay, Rev B, we did some of these things for Rev B, did some things for Rev C. This one here, a bigger change with Rev D, did some comments on this. And it it's basically, uh, and even says, we, we, we figured out we needed to add some things that we didn't think we needed at the beginning. So then it refers back to, hey, this, this replaces the comment in this other, other one. So it kind of helps tell the story of things like that. And then what's nice with this, once you start adding comments to your tree, there's a nice folder at the top that just, this usually this folder is not visible until you add a comment, then it becomes visible. And what it does is it, it groups all your comments into one location. And then you can just go up here and you can just kind of hover over and just kind of review all your comments. And then that way it gets you back familiar with your part, or if, if someone else is working on your part, they can kind of review it also and get familiar with what what was in your mind at the time you were doing this. And so we f I find this very handy, but I'm not sure if everybody knows about it, so I thought I'd share it with everybody. 